Newcomb readies, another 0-2 pitch coming. is swung on and missed, second punch out of the day for Mackenzie Newcomb, second out recorded here in the top half of the third. Another 3-2 coming from Grace Taylor to Sarah Squalachi. Hit right up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to give Sanford the lead. One run scores, and coming around to score is Kedzie Howe. It's a two-run single for Sarah Squalachi, and the Bulldogs have jumped out in front of the Mercer Bears, 3-1. Newcomb gears up for the 2-2, and that's a call of strike three, and a big out number one for Newcomb here in the seventh. And there is another strikeout for Jordan Partain, and it's a big one. And it's her fourth of the afternoon already. Was well, a little bit of a bobble out there by Hall as she fielded it off the wall. Now this is hit down the left field line. That's a base hit. And that is going to get to the wall as it gets past Hall. And coming in to score is champion. And into second with a double is Greer Bruce. So back-to-back -back doubles have the Bulldogs on the board as they begin to chip away here in the seventh. Hit sharply up the middle. It's going to get through. It's going to be a base hit. And holding up at third and running through, it looked like it was a stop sign. And coming in to score is Dorsett. It looked like Coach Cassidy was holding her up. But it's a one-run game thanks to the RBI single from Merrick Cahoon. And now two straight outs recorded. And Chloe Poss is the last hope for Sanford. And she hits a floater and a right. And that's going to get down. It's not going to get caught in this game. It is tied. And hits this one, and it's off the glove of Barton and into right field, and it's going to get past Wiggs, and this may be the ball game. Wiggs tracks it down. Here comes Poss. The throw to the plate is offline, and Sanford has walked it off with four runs in the bottom of the seventh. And Sanford sweeps the doubleheader from the Mercer Bears. What a finish in Birmingham, Alabama.